Istanbul Blockchain Week is the purpose of Istanbul Blockchain Week is to bring a large world class event into Istanbul, into Turkey. We wanted to shine a, shine a light on the Web3 ecosystem, the blockchain ecosystem, into Turkey. We wanted to bring all the big international thought leaders um, and mix them with the best Turkish talent, uh, thought leaders, um, and startups in the Turkish ecosystem to give them um, a great spotlight and to shine a big spotlight on the Turkish ecosystem. Um, Istanbul Blockchain Week is also there to foster investment into the Turkish ecosystem. So we're bringing in outside investors into Web3, uh, sorry, into Turkey. And so, yes, basically, uh, we really want to focus on the three main core areas. That's education, innovation, and investment. Um, so we have workshops, we have roundtables, we have very uh, strong thought leadership sessions with some of the strongest names in blockchain, but also um, in uh, global finance and in um, leading uh, institutions in Turkey to come together and see how, how can we integrate blockchain technology into our daily lives to basically have a better uh, ecosystem and a better uh, way of life in Turkey and beyond. So um, obviously, f firstly, I'm, I'm, I'm half Turkish, so my father's from Turkey. So I have a keen interest in the region. I have a keen interest in making an impact in Turkey to help support Turkey and to bring the large Web3 ecosystem international speakers into Turkey. Secondly, Turkey has a very, very potentially very, very influential role in the future of this adoption. So Turkey has some of the highest rates of adoption of Web3, has some of the highest rates of trading volume, um, and also um, has a, a huge development scene, which is uh, very, very interesting. I think it's a great opportunity for Turkey to actually be at the forefront of a major technology, which maybe it hasn't done in recent history, and this is a great opportunity. So for me, um, it was an opportunity to put Turkey in the spotlight to provide Turkey with a great opportunity to show international investors that Turkey is a great place to bring their investment and to bring their companies. And um, yeah, I'm very uh, inspired to do that as somebody who is Turkish heritage. Turkish blockchain community is some, one of the uh, largest communities in the whole world. I mean, it has, like I said, it has some of the highest rates of adoption, it has some of the highest trading volumes, it has a uh, huge, huge interest. You know, some of the top projects in the whole of global Web3 ecosystem, like Binance Blockchain Week, like uh, Ethereum, have all chosen Istanbul in the last 12 months to host their conferences. Turkey, Turkey's thirst for blockchain is absolutely enormous, and um, it leaves a very, very good opportunity for Turkey to take advantage of that and be a leader in the space. My goal for Istanbul Blockchain Week is to make it the number one global event for blockchain and cryptocurrencies inside Turkey. So, um, you know, basically, we want to actually change lives with Istanbul Blockchain Week. We want to give opportunities to Turkish people, the Turkish institutions, Turkish uh, startups to get involved and to get international attention. So my job as a Turkish person that lives outside of Turkey is to bring in international investors, international media, uh, international spotlight into the Turkish startup ecosystem. And so the ultimate goal for Istanbul Blockchain Week is to really, really help Turkish startups and um, get investment into the country and to position Turkey as the leading country in web free adoption. So look, um, the Turkish uh, blockchain ecosystem was actually very much just focused on trading back a few years ago. It was just exchanges. Uh, it was, there wasn't actually that much innovation, but over the last few years, we've seen a really, really great maturity in the Turkish ecosystem. We've seen a lot more developers. We've seen a lot more focus on education. As I mentioned in one of my previous answers, some of the biggest blockchain projects have done hacker hackathons, big hacker houses. I think even the government have done their own ha uh, sponsored hackathons to see how they can integrate blockchain te technology into Turkey. So it's great to see that level of maturity in the market, to see it go from just speculation to actual building real world products that can make real world differences to real people and so yeah we're uh, it's been a great journey to see that happen and uh, hopefully you know in the coming uh, months and years we'll see positive regulation you know that will not stifle innovation and that will ultimately allow blockchain to thrive in Turkey I think for people that are new to the ecosystem my advice would be to do as much research as they possibly can understand what blockchain technology is uh, learn about the ecosystem and of course they should um, maybe potentially buy some Bitcoin if they buy Bitcoin and only the large um, the large coins then that will allow them to learn and un understand the market understand what is uh, affecting the market what, why is why is the market going up why is the market going down and most importantly they should learn about self custody so they should learn about how to take secure ownership of their blockchain assets um, and Obviously, there's been recent hacks in crypto exchanges, which leaves it very uh, difficult for people leaving money on exchanges. So learn about self-custody, learn about the power of blockchain technology, learn about the power of Bitcoin, and stay, um, yeah, just stay safe and stay aware of what they're investing in.
Of course, artificial intelligence is very, very hot right now. Everyone's talking about it. Everyone is, wants to get their hands on it and use it. But for me, um, artificial and blockchain technology really have to live hand in hand because artificial technology currently uses big data tools and they're scraping the internet full of different answers and content. However, a lot of that internet data is fake and fake news is a big problem right now in the whole world. And so what blockchain technology can do, for example, is verify the data that the AI is actually analyzing and ensure that the authenticity of that data is correct. And I think that's absolutely vital for our uh, global uh, you know, geopolitical you know, ecosystem, ensuring that our society stays safe. Because AI has a massive potential to go completely out of control if it's, if it's verifying fake news. And blockchain technology can counteract that. Yeah, so this is now our third Istanbul Blockchain Week. So uh, we are going into the first ever Blockchain Week where we're in a, a bull market instead of a bear market, which makes a nice change. And also, uh, we have got a big focus this year on bringing Web2 uh, corporations into Web3. So we're going to have a big focus on corporate finance, on uh, Turkish institutions, helping them dip their feet into Web3 and blockchain, see how that can actually make a difference. We have some large institutions uh, coming to the event that have already actually adopted inside Turkey blockchain and Web3. Uh, we also have the W3 tournament that we just discussed, a big Web3 gaming esports tournament and exhibition. We also have a big uh, hackathon called Istan Hack, which is happening with hundreds of developers you know, learning how to build their first uh, Web3 tools and products and helping uh, build blockchain uh, innovations uh, solutions for the future. And also this year, we have a great partnership uh, with Group Media, uh, specifically with Fortune um, Magazine Turkey, which is going to be excellent. It's going to bring a lot of mainstream eyeballs into what we're doing at Istanbul Blockchain Week. Uh, mm -hmm. So in this year's edition, we actually have a new concept called VC Connect, stands for Venture Capital Connect, where basically we're bringing in 12 of the largest uh, Web3 venture capital uh, firms to come into Turkey. And basically, we're giving the opportunity to young Turkish innovative startups to pitch uh, global venture capital firms to get investment, which uh, they don't always uh, have the opportunity to meet such people. Um, so basically the VCs will be available to be pitched in the morning and the afternoon on both days. And we'll have around 80 different projects that are available to pitch uh, VCs over the two days. So by organizing this, we're offering uh, young projects an opportunity to get fresh investment, fresh um, eyeballs, and, and really put a spotlight on those companies and hopefully propel them into the global uh, ecosystem and, and provide Turkish projects, uh, sorry, provide the Turkish uh, industry uh, some Turkish projects that we can be proud of like global, on a global scale. You know, for those interested in attending Istanbul Blockchain Week, they can find out more about the event on istanbulblockchainweek.com. The events, the, the, the most important event is happening on the 13th and 14th of August. It's called Istanbul Block. And yeah, you know, tickets are available now at early bird discount.